Kia ora tato. welcome back to the Wargaming Den. This week's battle is the fifth battle in my um, Monte Cassino campaign, and the attention is continuing looking at the actions of 5th Division part of British 10 Corps on the far left flank of the Gustav Line. So on the morning of the 18th of January, as we've seen, the British successfully crossed the Garigalanio River. Um, and they were reinforced with the 64th Highlanders and the 2nd North Hampshire um, battalions of 17 Brigade overnight. And they reached the road just south of Minturno, but were fiercely counterattacked by elements of the 267th Panzer, uh, Grenadier Regiment supported by Panzers from the Hermann Goring Panzer Division. A Company of the C4ths was forced to withdraw, D Company was cut off by German armour, but um, with artillery support from an observer that had been attached to the unit, they were able to force the German tanks to retreat. It was quite a critical situation, and so the Divisional Reserve 15th Brigade was ordered to attack from the east to try and relieve pressure on 17th Brigade. And one of the battalions of 17th Brigade was the um, first Green Howards, and their objective was to capture the town of Minturno. So that's the action we're going to be looking at in today's battle. So the Green Howards have a 1300 point reinforced platoon. We've got um, three sections in there, and we've got a Piat, and that's the free artillery observer. The commander, a first lieutenant who's a veteran, and we've got a section of Royal Engineers and other support. Now, I've got a six pounder there. When I went through the army list, the six pounder actually wasn't included, so he disappeared just after this photo. I decided to go with mobile support in the form of the staghound. You might see the staghound a bit in these battles, and that's because it's currently the only armoured car I've got for my small British slash Kiwi force. Um, so we've got a stag count and a Sherman, they're both regulars, and we've got a medium machine gun and a mortar team as well as a transport carrier. So that is the Green Howards for today. The Germans are representing elements of the 267th Grenadier Regiment, part of 94th Division. They've got 1,200 points, but they've also got 100 points of fortifications, which is this pillbox back here, and they've also got five strips of um, barbed wire to try and slow down the British and channel the attacks a wee bit. The main force, we've got the first lieutenant, who's a veteran, and his offsider. We've got um, three grenad regular grenadier squads, each of them, they've all got 10 men in a um, MG34, so one, two, three, and then a squad of Panzer Grenadiers, support from the Hermann Goring Division. We've got a Stug and the Pack 40, and we've got the Mortar and the Machine Gun Team, which gets to spend the game in the pillbox. And finally, there is a Sniper. So they're 1,200 points plus fortifications. The mission we're playing today is basically just point defence out of the second edition bolt action rule book. So I nominated three objectives. Two of them had to be between the 12 and 24 inch mark. So we've got this building here is an objective, this building here is an objective, and the church in the background is the third objective. So Germans have 10 squads or units and they can deploy five of them on table. So they've got the grenadier squads in this building. Grenadiers are also in this building. Machine gun is in the pillbox, pack 40 is on the road covering that big wide sweep there, and the mortar is in the background. The observer for the mortar is hiding in this building right here. So as I said, British have to capture two out of the three objectives to take the win. Preliminary bombardment. All the units over here were pinned. as was the grenadiers in the building there, and the mortar took a direct hit and lost a team. Turn one. The 
green howards have advanced onto the table, running with the infantry. The grenadiers in the building went down, they tried to shoot. The mortar, however, the observers in the building over there managed to range in with its first attempt and killed three uh, men in the section there. Sherman advanced the, the pack 40, which is lurking over there. Took a shot from ambush, just missed, rolled a 5, needed a 6. The infantry in the building in the um, heavy machine gun pillbox trying to shoot at the infantry over here that are advancing. The British are avoiding the centre ground. Um, just it's a, a dead zone in there trying to work through the flank. So turn 2, German reinforcements can, can't, can start to arrive this turn. Turn 2, infantry continued to advance into the field there. Right at the end of the turn the stag came on and missed the stag hound. The pack went into ambush, it's got no targets at present, as did the infantry. Panzer Grenadiers are running up the road. They want to get into that building there to help defend this part of the village. That building is the one which has got the objective. On this side, infantry ran into the building there. Others are moving around the edge. Sherman fired and missed at the Grenadiers. Um, and the artillery also tried to range in on them. Grenadier reserves are running on with their lieutenant and up in the bell tower. He's actually in the first floor, but the sniper has run onto the board as well. So there we go, turn two. No casualties on that turn. On to turn three. British charged into the bottom floor of the building. And the Grenadiers running up the road charged into assault. And as a result, the Grenadiers took six losses. The British only took one. So the Grenadier squad is wiped out. Then the second Grenadier squad in the upstairs building charged down the stairs. And they did... Three wounds on the British, but they lost five in return, so they're also destroyed. So the British will consolidate and capture the first objective, having destroyed two squads. Okay, turn four. Things are getting a bit dicey in this game of dice. Not a lot of action over there. The artillery barrage came in, just pinned people over here the assaults into that ground floor went backwards and forwards and the last squad of grenadiers drove off the british section so still a british section in the building stug fired and, and did some wounds on them um, but yes not a great deal left on table for the germans to stop the british but can they continue to hold those two objectives Yet yeah, another assault in this building. This time the Grenadiers charged down at the British on the ground floor. They kill one, but they are wiped out in return. So two objectives have now fallen. The mortar team was destroyed by the Sherman. It's only um, the command team and the sniper holding over there. Heavy machine gun in the pillbox here in the stug. So I think at this stage the Germans will retreat off the board and back into the hills beyond. And there we have it, a victory to the British. They have driven the Germans out of Minturno, just as they did in real life. So by the nightfall on the 19th, um, the British had strengthened their position, the 1st Battalion of the Green Howards, which was the action that we were looking at, had taken the town um, and nearby the, the King's Own Yorkshire Light Infantry, that's a bit of a mouthful, um, had um, taken a nearby village as well. So 
the British had strengthened their position from looking very dicey at the beginning of the day. The German High Command had started to react. They um, now realized that there was a major attack underway and rush reinforcements, including Panzer Grenadiers and elements of the Hermann Goring Panzer Division um, to support the um, 94th Division. Then over the next six days, um, there was very heavy fighting took place. Um, the British were trying to extend and expand their bridgehead, while the Germans um, launched a number of counterattacks to try and drive the British back across the river. So um, yeah, a lot of bit of fighting took place. And that's what we're going to look at in the next battle. We're going to turn our attention to the 201st Brigade and the Coldstream Guards. So it's going to be the British fighting a defensive battle against um, German Panzer Grenadiers and Panzers would be my guess, but I haven't started to figure out what the forces are going to be yet, but that is what the, the next battle is going to look like. And as you can see, finally from this um, photo um, taken about the time of this battle around the Garagiliano area, the, the weather is far from ideal, um, lots of mud and stuff um, present. So I might even look at adding some weather effects to the next battle, we will see. But anyway, thank you very much for watching this game. I thoroughly enjoyed it again, and I look forward to the next one. So until next time, ka kite anō. Take care, everybody.